Artificial intelligence has been really popular and has made a lot of advancements lately, so I thought why not try and make a game using it, because that's what I do, I make games. This could turn out really well, or it could end up being terrible. The first thing to do when making a game is come up with an idea. Luckily, AI is pretty good at that, I think. I found an AI text generator which uses GPT-3 to generate and edit text based on a prompt, and I told it to give me an idea for a game, and it gave me this. A game where you control a character who is trying to escape from a haunted house. This was actually a pretty good idea for a game, but I thought the scope of it was a bit too big for this project, so I generated some other ideas. For some reason, it really wanted me to make a game where you're a farmer and you have to grow crops and sell them at the market, but after skipping over that idea a lot of times, the AI eventually gave me an idea for a game that I felt would suit the project. A game where you play as a character who has to collect as many coins as possible while avoiding obstacles. I asked the AI what the game will look like and it told me that the game will be a 2D platformer with colorful graphics. I also asked what obstacles there will be, and according to the AI there's gonna be enemies that patrol the area, pits that the character can fall into, and spikes that cause damage. I think with all this information, I'm ready to start actually making the game, or getting AI to. I'm gonna start with generating a bunch of art and sprites for the game using the text to image program DALI 2, which just became open to the public. I generated this spike, which looks more like a bush, but oh well, and then made this coin sprite, which actually looks really good. I asked for an enemy, and it gave me this unique, but decent looking thing with these arrows, and then I tried to generate a character for the player. It took me a lot of different prompts and attempts until I got something that was going to fit, but eventually the AI gave me this image, which has two different variations of a character in it, perfect for a player with different states depending on what they're doing. The final designs I needed were a ground, some things to jump on, and the sky background, and luckily those were pretty easy to generate. Now that I have all of these beautiful sprites made without me even having to draw anything, it's time to turn them into an actual game. First, I cut out all of the sprites from the AI images and place them all into the scene manually. Unfortunately, there isn't actually any AI program that I know of that is able to control a game engine or make a game based on some prompts, so I did still have to do quite a bit myself. What the AI was able to help me with, however, was writing different parts of the code. I used this program called GitHub Copilot, which will either predict what you're about to write, or turn a prompt that you give it into a function. So like, if I type function to move rigidbody 2 d player as a comment, it'll give me some suggestions for a function that does that, which obviously I can edit myself if it isn't what I want. So, using AI to help me with the code, I began making each functioning component of the game, starting with the player. I wrote up a simple player movement script, which allows the player to, well, move and jump, and then made it so that when you're on the ground, the player will have this sprite, and when you're falling, the player will look like this. And this was working pretty nicely. The camera doesn't follow the player though, so I used Vector3.lerp to smoothly move the camera to the player's position. It looked a bit jittery though, but this ended up being because the player's rigid body needed to be set to interpolate. I'm not actually sure what that did, but hey, it fixed it. I then added a bunch of the environment sprites like the ground and rocks to a tile map so I can just easily place them at different points on a grid to help build a level. The problem with this was that the images weren't really the right sizes, so it took quite a bit of fiddling to get things like the grass to line up with no gaps or overlapping. I put this spike into the game, which kills you and then made the enemy, which if you jump on top of it will die and make the player bounce up a bit. Of course, if you run into the side of the enemy, you will die. I now need to make the main goal of the game, which according to the AI is collecting the coins scattered throughout the level. So I need coins and some text to show how many coins are left to collect. The coins were easy, I just added a trigger collider which made them increase in number and get destroyed when collected. But for the text, I needed to find a font to use. Luckily, I can just ask the AI what font I should use for my colourful platformer game, and uh, I guess I have to use Papyrus, which is not exactly the most pretty font. I added a windscreen, some smooth animations, a fade transition between scenes, and made the player get launched when they die. Okay, maybe that's a little too far. I also added screen shake, which the AI told me should occur when the character collects or defeats an enemy. But something is still missing. The AI says I need a variety of sound effects and music to polish the game. For the music, I found this program, which will convert an image to a song, so I just put in a screenshot of the game, and I got this back.
It sounds surprisingly good, but still a bit off, which I think perfectly encapsulates the AI kind of vibe. There wasn't really anything that generates sound effects straight from a prompt, but I did find this thing which will use AI to combine two different noises, and I used that to make some alright sound effects for different in-game actions. All I had to do now was make levels for the game. I could of course try and make an AI level generator, but that would take way too much effort for a game like this, so I ended up just quickly putting together three levels which are actually kind of difficult. I even got the instruction text in the tutorials from the AI. With all these levels now in, the only thing left is a name for the game. So of course I went to the AI, and apparently the game is called Coin Collecting Platformer. Obviously, AI is still nowhere near perfect, and it couldn't really do much in making this game at all, other than creative stuff like ideas and art. But I think AI, rather than taking everyone's jobs and doing everything itself, is going to be more helpful for assisting humans and making their jobs easier, just like it kind of did with this project. 